This is the first of our five destinations. The building that they did recreate, um, yep, in the 1970s is when the children were popping. So now it's like a local So if you guys want to come and try, let's do it. Fantastic. What's the name of this place again? On the road. Pond City Market. You heard it here first. Pond City Market. Yes, sir. So inside of Pond City Market, you got a bunch of dope food options, plenty of different types of cuisine, really something for everyone. So this was a Mexican restaurant named Monero, one of the first places we visited to dine. When I tell you they had one of the best burritos I've ever had, I kid you not, you gotta check it out. Now upstairs had more bars, more shops, and even this awesome lounge to chill back, kill a cocktail, or even read or study. Now this is the World of Coca-Cola Museum located in the center of Atlanta. So it's about a 20 acre complex. It was opened in 2007 around May and it replaced the original Coca-Cola factory which was actually founded in 1990. Where are we at right now? Bro, Mr. Barrero <laughs> in the ATL. Right now we're waiting in line for something that we're introduced to at Starbucks called the Trap Museum. I don't know if you're ready for this. I don't think where they are. I don't think the viewers are. Just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, please. Uh, we need all your love and your support. I love you that. Let them know. So it's $10 to get in, $20 to skip the line and get in. Nothing in here is real. I'm gonna repeat that again. Grandma, tell me. 
nothing is here is real. Okay, also, we are not here to glorify nor celebrate selling drugs. We're only here to inform you of the trap culture. Because no one can tell your story better than you can. Period, Period. Period. On that back wall with my niece and nephew, her grandbaby. If you can name T and O, you are too trapped if you can't get A. Uh-uh, uh, baby, hold up. You're going too fast. That's not Carter. That's Belkalee. Oh, she started screaming. Oh, okay. okay. Right. She was sneaking down the house, but she had to take her clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but keep right. on going, because you were on the road, baby. Oh, Nika. Yeah, that's Nikki, baby. Let's see. Future. Uh, y'all, hold on. Y'all walk that way, baby. You and T.T. Oh, where y'all from? Orlando. I know where y'all from. <laughs> in the world right here. Let me introduce you to my farmer's market type of vibe with a bunch of very very nice happy people now when you come into Krog Street Market you gotta check out Atlanta's Hop City on the left where you can grab wine by the glass cocktail or various selections of beers on tap super dope Now this right here, Bar Mercado, hands down one of my favorite vibes in the ATL. Everything from the ambiance, the deep house music in the background. You got delicious cocktails, bottomless mimosas for brunch, a mean loaded avocado toast finished with lobster. If you're feeling it, you do a kava waterfall. Great service, six spot. Great for an evening walk, great for a morning walk. Now on the right, you have these beautifully architected apartment buildings. Down on the first floor is a wide selection of restaurants to choose from. Nothing but lovely aromas out there. 
excellent energy, local people just catching a vibe in some great weather. Definitely a nice place to swim by if you're just there for the weekend. Now, if you're looking for something fun to do while you're out walking the city, download this app called Lotus Eaters Club. This is one of 15 tiny doors. They're all scattered around Atlanta. You can see if you can go ahead and find all of them. Probably one of my favorite pieces that I've come across in a long time in the city out in the ATO. Sick. Now, if any of you are into Korean barbecue, about 25 minutes out from the city is this place called Iron Age. All you can eat chicken, steak, seafood, 25 bucks. Delicious light option. If you're feeling it, can't go wrong. And last but not least, now if you're looking for a great place to thrift, go ahead and stop by Little Five Points where you could get awesome, awesome deals, great coffee shops to swing by, amazing artwork laid out, brings out all the colors of the city, a bunch of culture, and again, a bunch of friendly people. Check it out.
checking us out. I hope you enjoyed this content. Can't wait to get some more out here for you. Don't forget to leave a comment where you want to see us next. Make sure whatever you do, you do it with pure passion. Have a blessed rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.